We're Max and Oksana, an ordinary couple on an extraordinary half-lap adventure around Australia. Our first week on the Gibb River Road was an amazing introduction to this remote region. And this week, adventure continues at El Cuestro, where big hikes, beautiful swimming holes, and incredible sunsets keep us busy for days. Plus, don't miss an amazing day trip to wrap up our time on the Gibb. Well, good morning and welcome to this week's video. Uh, as you might have remembered, last video we finished off at uh, Mount Barnett and Manning Gorge. And this week we have started our trip and we our first stop uh, on this trip so far is to... Alambre Scones. Alambre Station, home to fresh scones on the Gibb which is crazy because there's nothing fresh on the Gibb. So everyone raves about the scones here and we're about to go check them out. This is lunch. Good morning. So another night on the Gibb River Road is done. And this morning before we head off, Max is just finishing packing up the vehicle. I thought I would show you what a typical campsite looks like here on the Gibb. So um, last night we stayed at Ellenbury Station and it's pretty much similar to what the other stations and stops here um, offer in terms of facilities. So I'll give you a look around. So this is the campground here. Quite a few of the vehicles have already gone for the day, but you can see a few are still set up. There's still the troopy in the back. And it's really just a sandy area with a few trees for shade. And there's usually only one amenities block. So I'll take you over there now. So this is the amenity block. We've got some rubbish bins in front. Um, sometimes different stations do different recycling, which we always appreciate. So this is an interesting part of this station. This is how they supply hot water to the showers. So. It's a big container that's heated by wood. And inside we've got a toilet, flushing toilet, and two showers. And that's the same for women and men. Pretty basic, usually not a ton of space. Um, so sometimes you do have to wait in line, but it does the job. And there's Tilly, ready to go. And off we go. The day on the gift. It wasn't nearly as exciting as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit deeper, but so you want deeper crossings? I do. I mean, I'll that, get you that was just a puddle. Big puddle. Big puddle. Well, we have settled into our campsite here at El Cuestra. Got a nice spot beside all of the other caravans. And now we're heading on our first hike. Where are we going, Max? We are going to Saddleback Ridge Lookout. Uh, you can either get there via car or you can get there by uh, walking. We've chosen to walk there. It's about three kilometers up, three kilometers down. I think if you were to drive there, it's almost the same amount of time. So <laughs> a little bit of afternoon exercise for us. So there is a bit of an issue with our plan. There's a river that one would cross in a vehicle, which would be totally fine. Or a horse. Except for we do not have a vehicle because we've left her behind. So, what is the plan? Well, if we want to continue, we got to go barefoot. Oh. 
And that's rocky. Yeah. This little picnic area. Where's our picnic? We have wine? No. Any beer? Did you bring some? Any cheese? No. <laughs> this was an exercise hike. Not a bad view. Good morning. So it is our first day exploring El Cuestro today. And we have decided to start it with one of the most beautiful hikes and swimming holes in the area, which is El Cuestro Gorge. It was uh, quite an adventure getting out here to start with. <laughs> but now we're here, and so are dozens of other people. We're and going we to are... Mick, Mick, Mickin Pool, which is at the end of the track. 4.8 kilometers return, grade 5. Four hours, which means two hours. <sighs> Without a swim. Good morning. Well, it is just after sunrise and we're up and ready to go on today's adventure. So as we mentioned yesterday, today is a fun, fun day and we have left Tilly behind and picked up a new transportation. So we'll show you what that is and where we're going. This is going to be one spot on the Gibber River that we did miss and uh, we're about to visit it. We have arrived here up at the Mitchell Plateau and first things first we're going to be jumping on a helicopter tour. So we're going to be flying over the falls, uh, doors open, taking lots of cool pictures and videos. And then we're going to enjoy our time at the falls and then I believe we're going to hike back. So a bit of everything today. Woo! It's a little rushed but lots of fun so let's get to it. We've landed. 
landed. Now it's time to explore. We have made it to the amazing Mitchell Falls. It's a beautiful waterfall and one that's really hard to get to. It's about 300 kilometers, maybe more, don't quote me on that, from the Gib River Road and it's a very rough um, track to get there. So we have taken a shortcut to get here today. to the end of this beautiful day at Mitchell Falls and now it's a pretty scenic airplane ride back to Kananara and on to our next adventure next week we're heading back to MT so make sure you tune in subscribe to our channel if you don't already do so and make sure you hit the bell button to be notified when the next video is released see you next week